All right, so I recently created a video on how to create a ClickBank account and how ClickBank came about in Ghana. And I think that video is getting lots of views and thank you for everybody who liked the video, shared and then also subscribed to the channel. And I think with every online platform out there, there will definitely be a problem with it. And so with ClickBank, you mostly get this screen that I'm showing to you right now when you try to log in into your account and this is how you can solve it. And I'm going to show you in this tutorial and also with the payment option on ClickBank in Ghana and other countries, this might trick you to think that ClickBank uses PayPal to withdraw its funds, but it's actually using a Pioneer Bank account or a direct deposit depending on your country respectively. And so I'm going to take you through the steps on how you can solve the login error on ClickBank if you get some of these things and then also the payment option and how you can connect your various bank accounts to ClickBank. Let's dive into it. All right, so this is a dashboard for ClickBank. And so sometimes when you do log in and you want to access the marketplace or any other features on ClickBank, you get this bad request um, prompt that they are giving you. And it's saying that your browser sent a request that this server could not understand. All right, and it's asking me that please enable JavaScript and allow third party scripts to continue on creating your ClickBank account. And so what you need to do is that you either open this um, platform which is clickbank on an incognito browser or you head on to settings and then you fix the problem so you can see right here that it is still giving me um, bad request and it's telling me the same thing so to correct this we first need to head on to settings in your respective browsers i'm using chrome and so once you head on to settings you search for javascript and then you add clickbank to it so i'm adding www.clickbank.com right once you're done you click on save you go back to the browser once more and then i'm going to refresh the page if this problem is solved now what usually happens is that when you are logging into your clickbank account you get this type of bad request always and so you cannot log in into your account so this is how you do it the first one is that you you add um, clickbank to javascript if it doesn't work then we open a new incognito browser All right so let me just click on clickbank and then the sign in page is here All right and so i'm going to type in my clickbank address and password and i'm going to log in to it All right so this is my clickbank account and i think there's no problem and this is how you can solve it now you can access a marketplace or any of the clickbank options right there so this is a marketplace and then you can pick a product from um each of this section right the next thing we take a look at is payment options on clickbank and there are two payment options to get paid on clickbank which is the check and then the direct deposit into your bank account right so once you head on to settings and then you click on payment settings right most of you might think that here we use paypal to withdraw funds from clickbank no you need to read it very carefully it says connect with paypal if you are new if you are a new clickbank seller and you want to receive other payments via um clickbank sorry via paypal you must connect your paypal account to clickbank to your clickbank sales account which means that this account belongs to a seller and you are not a seller on clickbank you are an affiliate marketer and so to actually find find out where to set up your payment option you click on go to dashboard and click on your account nickname or username it will take you to a new page where you can check your hop links and your sales that you made promoting products and so this is the page right and so when you make a sale this is where it pops up for the day so the next thing to do is that you need to head on to account settings and i want to click on account settings let me just click on it real quick right uh, i need to verify my email because it's a new account that i created right and i'm going to create a full tutorial on how you can start promoting offers using free traffic on clickbank right and so here on this page this is where you add the payment option and here you have your payee name address and then your your country your password and everything right here and so this is where you make the payment settings and so to do this you head on to payment information and then you click on edit once you click on edit it's going to open a page for you and this page is showing your payment threshold payment method and payment frequency 
and so you can set your payment threshold to hundred dollars which means once you make affiliate commissions to um, up to a hundred dollars they are going to release your fund and send it to you i mostly set it to 50 or 100 so you can set yours now here is the payment method and it's check or direct deposit i mostly choose direct deposit because i think check is a long process you have to go to the bank and do all sort of things right so direct deposit is the best option and you use a payment platform called pioneer and i'll explain later in the video this is a payment frequency and you get to paid you be get to paid weekly or bi-weekly bi-weekly simply means two times a week and then weekly means once a week so direct deposit information they need your bank country and here ghana is not part right so you need to use a pioneer bank account i have a full tutorial on how to create a pioneer account i'll leave it, the link in the description you can also click the link um, in the description to sign up to pioneer and so we head on to pioneer and you can see you when you sign up with my link you get 25 dollar bonus right fiverr is structured by fiverr tabula 99 designs airbnb upwork and envato so links will be in the description you can sign up to pioneer or watch the my tutorial on how to sign up to pioneer and then you create a pioneer account and link it to your clickbank account so let's head on back to clickbank and then i'm going to give you a brief explanation on how you can add your details so your bank country pioneer gives you access to a uk bank us and an euro bank so i want to select united kingdom right here and if you like the us one two you can select and then it's asking you for a bank city pioneer will provide all the information in your receiving account once you watch the tutorial on how to create a pioneer account you understand what a receiving account is right so your bank city and then you select the payment currency and then your bank name you provide every detail that pioneer will give to you in the receiving account so once you are done you type in your account number and then your sort code to actually you know link your pioneer bank account which is a uk bank account to clickbank and it's very simple it's very simple and easy right so this is how you do it so you type in your bank name and then pioneer will also give you the same details as well and mostly they give you backless bank or um, some other bank that i forgot the name but whatever bank um, name that you get from creating your account you you put that one here and you type in your account number your sort code and your account type pioneer is going to tell you if your account type is saving or checking right so once you are done you just click on ok and save the whole thing so i'm going to see you guys in the next one